Hey everyone, today I have a quick CapCut video editing tutorial for you. We're gonna be showing you how to add transitions and fades to your video clips in CapCut for Windows. It's really simple to do and there's all sorts of free transitions to spruce up your videos. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, so here we are in CapCut for Windows. I've already imported some media here and I've got four different clips down in my timeline below. We're gonna go ahead and add transitions between each of these clips here, as well as a fade in at the beginning and a fade out at the end. Now, if you're not sure how to get to this point in CapCut for Windows, I've already created a beginner's tutorial on how to merge clips and export it. I'll have that linked below in the description, as well as at the end of the video in the cards. So let's start out with adding our transitions between the clips and then we'll move on to adding our fade in at the beginning and our fade out at the end because it's done a little bit differently. Now, right now I have this set up. So if I hit play here, you can see that it's a sharp transition. It's instantly from the frame of one video clip to the next frame. There's no animation or effects between the video clips. So let's go ahead and add some fun transitions in there. Up here in the top left hand corner, you'll see a little media icon, you'll see all your clips, and there's an option right here that says transitions. You can go ahead and left click on transitions. This is gonna bring up all of the transitions that you can use in your video. These are animated transitions, and you can scroll through here and have a look. Now we're not gonna go through all of these, we'd be here for hours looking at them all, but I will definitely go through a few of them here. Everything from basic, camera, social media, and so on through here. Now, you may have noticed there's little icons in the bottom right hand corner of each transition. You do need to download them in order to use them. So if you wanna use this one here, for example, you just left click on the little download icon and that would load that into your computer. And when you hover over it here, it's actually gonna give you a little preview of what that looks like. So you can do the same thing for all the ones that you might want to use in your videos. So let's go ahead and add some transitions to our video. I'm gonna start out with some basic ones here. My favorite one for the basic is the dissolve to transition right here. And there's a couple different ways you can add them. So you can grab your slider bar down here, hold down your mouse button, and you can scroll through your video. If you put that close to a transition point, so this first one here, doesn't need to be right on it, but close to it, whatever that's closest to, if you hit the plus sign on the transition, it's gonna add it to that location. So if I hit the plus sign here, it's gonna add that transition to that space. So now when we play it, it's gonna have that transition in that spot. And you can see it's a dissolve there when I play it, it just plays through. Now again, if I was closer to this transition and added that same dissolve effect, it would add it to that closest one there. So you can easily add them by just moving that bar back and forth. If you wanna get rid of a transition, just left click on it with your mouse and hit the delete key on your keyboard. So you can have your transition in there. Now, if you want to extend the time of your transition, you can just left click on it. And in the top right hand corner, you can see it says duration here. So you can make it a longer transition. Maybe you want this one to be one second or um, we'll leave it at one second. You can also grab the edge of your transition down here and slide it back and forth as well. So I'm um, really easy to adjust the transition length. Now when I play this, you can clearly see that the transition is longer. So you can get it to look exactly how you like it. Maybe I can put that back to about half a second. Seems like it would be better. Now the other way to add transitions, and it's probably a little bit quicker, let's find a more fun one down here. Let's try one of these burn ones here. So you can actually grab the transition. So left click with your mouse and hold down your mouse button and you can drag it down and drop it right on the transition or between your two video clips. So you can just drag it down and drop it like that. And now when we hit play again, it's gonna do that transition. That's a kind of a fun one if you're doing um, movie effects, that sort of thing. And again, you can adjust the length of that transition like that. So fun little burn transition. There's some other cool ones in here as well. Oh, I like this flame one. We're gonna replace that with the flame one. We'll try that one. There we go. A flame, perfect. And then we'll try one of these social media ones here. I like this super like one. We'll add that one in there as well. And again, you can hit the plus sign if you're close to it with your slider bar, bar or you can just drop it in there. And this one, maybe we'll stretch the length out on this one to one second. And this one you can, use for uh, 
asking people to like and subscribe like I'm going to do right now. So let's watch that. A lot of likes and subscribes in there. So that's how you would add the transitions between all of your video clips. So let's go ahead and add a fade in here at the beginning and then a fade out at the end. So go ahead and select the clip, left click on the beginning clip. And once you've done that to add the fade in, if you go up here to the top right hand corner, you'll see it says video, audio, speed, animation. Animation is the one we're looking for. You can go ahead and left click on that. And under animation here, you'll see it says in, and out. So we're going to be doing a fade in here at the beginning of this clip. So we can go ahead and left click on that. And again, the same thing here, you can download the different fades. The basic one is fade in right here. There's also some other ones. Maybe you want a zoom. You could go ahead and left click on that and it would zoom in and you can also adjust the duration right here as well. So let's go make that one second. And you can see that that fades in. Now, I just want to add a normal fade in from dark. So that would be the first one here. You can just go ahead and left click on that. And you can see it fades in from dark. And maybe I'll make that one half a second long. So it's not quite so long. Again, lots of different fade in or transitions for fading in that you can find right here. Now, the same thing for fading out at the end. Go ahead and select your last clip here. And again, at the top, select animation. And then we want to select the out tab here. And again, there's some fade out transitions here. So let's go ahead and just add the fade out right there. And you can see it fades out. I'm going to make that one a little longer. Let's go to 0.7 seconds there. So now we've got a fade in at the beginning and a fade out at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and export this clip. And then we can see what it looks like fully exported. So it should be here on my desktop. I exported it, so let's go ahead and play it. There we go. Just some footage in Cabo, the nice transition there. The fire. The super like. And the fade out. And really it's that simple to add transitions and fade in and out with CapCut for Windows. I hope this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.